Hi, in this video I'm going to go over the basics of document templates. Um, so if you go into the document template section, what a document template is essentially is it's, it's a document that you need a user to sign, you know, so classic example is a client agency agreement. Um, you may get candidates to sign some kind of agreement, some kind of waiver for, for COVID or for other things. Um, any kind of document that you need a candidate or a client or both to sign is, is set up in the, the document templates. So uh, let's add an example. Um, so what are we going to, the, the, the first step is what to name your document. So let's say we have an agreement that we want the candidates to sign. So it'll be a candidate agency agreement or something like that. Um, and then uh, this is where the body of the agreement lives um, and and you know this can be copy pasted if you have it from a Word document, a PDF, a Google Doc, something like that uh, or you could just type directly into here so um, you know maybe the candidate agrees that they will not contact clients directly outside the agency or something like that. Um, now, oftentimes you will need fillable fields in your document where, um, you know, you, you want the, the person filling in the document to be able to enter in information. So let's say, for example, we want the candidate to be able to put in their name. Um, so we could create a field um, called name, and we can decide whether it's required or not, and add that. And that creates something called a field tag uh, for the name field. And so we can grab that field tag and put it into our document. Um, and so now it'll expect the candidate to add in their name where that field tag goes when they're signing this document. Next we can add a signer which is essentially the label of that appears where the user is going to put in their signature on this document. So for example it might be candidate or um, applicant or nanny or something like that so we'll put in candidate signature um, you can also put a name of the, you know, the owner of the agency or, or the admin at the agency who might be signing on behalf of the organization, um, agency owner. And so it'll add a signature from the agency to that document as well. Um, you can also put a message that appears after the user signs the document, you know, thank you for... So there'll be a default, you know, thank you for signing your document or your document has been signed, but uh, you can put a custom one, you know, thank you for signing our agreement. We will send you an onboarding package soon. I don't know, something like that. And so you need to select whether it's for candidates or clients to sign um, a status trigger. So if you want this document to automatically appear in the user's dashboard when they hit a certain status, you can put a status trigger. Um, edit access. So there's there's two options. There's certain documents where you as the admin will set up and fill in the fields and then just get the candidate or client to sign it, in which case you only want the admin to have edit access, which means only admins can fill in the fields. Uh, generally, most documents are fillable by uh, the user or the admin, and so their edit access is set to all. Um, for notification emails, you can put in any emails that should receive a notification uh, when the document is signed. Um, and uh, if you're getting people to sign many documents, sometimes it can be helpful to put an order in which they appear. So which document do you want to appear for second, third, that kind of thing. But uh, generally this is not used too often. Um, and that that's uh, kind of the at a high level how document templates uh, work. There's also some automatic substitution fields. Um, 
uh, where you can put in certain things to appear uh, automatically. So let's say we want to put in today's date. Uh, so it could be like candidate agrees to this on date and it'll just plug in the date on which they're signing the document. So it's not something, the, these fields are fields that they have to fill in and these fields are just auto substituting information into the document. And so let's go ahead and create that document template. Uh, so we don't have a status trigger for this one right now, but what we can do is for the candidate, um, on the admin side of the candidate, there's an option to manually add a document to their profile to sign. So we can click that, add the document, and now within the candidate's profile, within their document section, they'll see documents to sign, candidate agency agreement. They can click to sign that. Um, and they can fill in that fillable field. So um, put in their signature. And it, it captures their digital signature. And then they can sign that. It'll show that success message that we wrote when they finish signing it within their uh, file. Now it'll show that this document has been signed. They can view the document after the fact. It'll send a notification to the notification email that we configured in the document template. Um, and yeah, that, that is at a high level how document templates work. So you can create as many of these templates as you'd like for both candidates and clients. Uh, you can edit them anytime. So if you, you know, update the contents of the agreement, you can just go into here and edit the contents of the agreement. Um, yeah, thank you so much.